In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to start a thread in Slack. If you're looking to create organized conversations that ensure everyone is on the same page, threading your messages is a powerful tool to use. Let's dive into the steps and get you threading like a pro. First, you'll want to head over to the right channel where you want your conversation to begin. Make sure that your chosen channel has the relevant members who should be a part of this discussion. This ensures that everyone who needs to see the conversation has easy access to it. Once you are in the channel, locate the message panel. Here you can get started by typing out your initial message. Now a pro tip for making your conversation more engaging or relevant is to include any relevant files right here as a conversation starter. It could be a document, an image, um, or any resource that relates to what you'll discuss. Upload the file directly from your computer by clicking the upload from your computer option. You'll need to wait for a moment as the file uploads completely. Patience is key here. After your file is uploaded and your message is typed out, look for the more actions section. This part gives you more control over your message and opens up more options. By clicking on more actions, you can start navigating towards creating a thread. Now you want to go ahead and right click. This reveals more interactive options for your post. Next, choose the option for starting a reply thread. This is where the magic happens. This separates your focused conversation from the channel's main conversation, allowing for easy tracking of related questions and responses. Type in all the information that will begin this thread. It could be something like a brief explanation, a question, or relevant insights that will encourage engagement and responses. Once you've typed out everything necessary, create the conversation by hitting the start option. But remember, Slack threads are not just for one-way communication. You can at mention someone directly in the thread for more direct involvement or to get a specific person's input. To wrap things up, if there's someone you specifically want to engage further, click on their name in your thread or mention them. This will notify them directly. And of course, when you're all set, click on send now to post your threaded message. That's it, you've successfully started a thread on Slack. Remember, using threads helps keep your work organized by separating top level discussions from in depth conversations. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips and tutorials. Happy threading!